Hello and welcome to the Virola Corporate Messenger. I'm Verslav Ronsov, software developer and software architect of the Virola project. And in this video I'm going to show you how to deploy the Virola Corporate Messenger on your own server. So let's get started. Here I have a freshly installed Debian Linux that's connected to the internet and has a real static IP address. For the purposes of this video I'm using a virtual private server in its minimal configuration. Actually using a virtual private server is the cheapest way to get started with Virola. To download the installation package, I'll use the wget command, same as suggested on the Virola website. Ok, the download has been completed successfully, and I'll install the Virola server from this package using the apt command. I'll just copy-paste the apt command uh, from the Virola website into the Linux command prompt and run it. The installation process may take some time to download all necessary libraries and dependencies. The installer is asking if I want to configure the Virola server. The answer is yes. The next question is, do I want to run the Virola server as a system service? The answer is yes. And the next question, do I want to create a new Linux user and run the Virola server on behalf of this user? The answer is yes. The installer is asking me IP address at which the Virola server will listen. In my case, this is the IP address of my Debian Linux machine. Additionally, I have to set a TCP port. I'll use the default value 7777. The next question, do you want to start the Virola server now? The answer is yes. And uh, congratulations, your Virola server is up and running. To connect to our Virola server from the Virola client, we need to use these login credentials. Host, port, username and password. The Virola client has successfully logged in. All that's left is to create new user accounts for your team members to bring them together into your own self-hosted corporate messenger.